So the Bears have a first down on the Green Bay 45-yard line. This has been some kind of a move by the Bears. Avalini, the quarterback. Okay, we got it now. First down, here we go. We need a touchdown, buddy. Yeah, I know we need a touchdown. I know. Just, just get ready. Get ready to pay. <laughs> no chance for it. Right, you got to score. I've already done it. You know, I appreciate this time off, you know, covering for me like this. You don't mind, huh? No, not at all. I think the good guys deserve some time off, too. I agree with you. Even if Anna is taking you to a... Uh... What's the matter? You can't say it? Won't bother me. Poetry reading. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know, you ought to try it, smart guy. You know, these guys could change your life. A little uh, Ferlinghetti, a little Ginsburg. Yeah, I pinched those guys in Chicago. You no, be I, careful. I can't talk to you. He's hit. He fumbles on the one. Oh, no! Oh, it was rigged. I'm telling you, it was rigged. It was, rigged. It was bought and paid for. You see the way that guy coughed up the ball on the one? My mother could have carried it over the Yeah, well, let your mother sit up next week. But for right now, you owe me lunch. Uh, <laughs> and I'm getting mighty hungry. Oh, gosh. Hey, Mike. Grossman's buying lunch. Yeah. No, thanks. I'll take a rain check. Go worry. Come on, let's <clears throat> Look at that shine. Go ahead, aggravate me. I've been on the phone with the FBI. There's this guy, uh, Travers, Jerry Travers. Mm -hmm. He busted out of a minimum security work camp in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Only had 30 days left to go on some nickel and dime assault charge. Maybe he didn't like planting potatoes. Could be. He's a cowboy. Um, somebody spotted him working up at the Chad, Chadway Dairy Farm as a ranch hand. LVPD's going to send us some pictures. We'll pick him up. I hate to do this to you, Mike, but I got a dental appointment. I got a cavity in my mouth the size of Crater Lake. Look, it, it's big and it hurts. I got to get it taken care of. I'm eating a sandwich here, Joey. Let the locals go get him. Oh, I just tried them. But uh, it's a federal warrant, unlawful flight to avoid confinement in a minimum security work camp. Call the FBI. I, I, I've been on the phone with them, too. I, they're on some special detail. See, what I'm trying to say is, is it doesn't matter to me who goes to get this guy. We are not. What is the whole United States government off on Saturday? I have a stack of paper here loaded down with stick-up men and murderers who have no regard for human life and that are psychotic killers. And you want me to do a piece of police work that can be performed by a messenger service? Yeah. That's great. Good afternoon, Travers. You don't look like you have too much to say about cows. I don't. Yeah. My name is Torello. I'm from the Justice Department, and you're under arrest. Well, I guess you got me. Yeah, I guess I do. Mm. Oh, you see that one over there? It's getting ready to drop a calf. I've been nursing her along and nursing her along. Guess if I hadn't messed up so bad, I'd still be around to see it through, huh? Am I going to need the cuffs on you? No. I'm not going to give you any trouble. You see, these folks around here figure I'm a pretty decent fella. And it's the kind of job that I can come back to. Don't make your problems my problems, and don't get cute with me. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. Oh, uh, listen, I, I need one favor, OK? Give me enough time to pick up the pay that's due me. I figure I could use it after I get out of that place. Okay. Hurry it up. I have a golf game in about an hour. Okay. Foreman's over there. I'm gonna be back in a second. Oh. Okay. 
Come back inside. Bite some cattle, mister? No. Oh, thanks. Pickup, huh? Like picking up the mail, right? That cowboy is out there right now laughing at me. You got that? Look at these shoes. Do you know what this is? Huh? You know what this is on these shoes? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Oh, this goes beyond sorry. Me, the big city cop, outsmarted by that Buffalo Bob. How's your tooth? It, it, Never mind, I don't want to know. Before you uh, rearrange the entire office, what would you like us to do? I'd like you to coordinate a search with the Las Vegas police. Cut up the area. Maybe we can prevent this guy from getting out of the county. Nate and Joey, Travers was holed up with a girl who lived at the uh, Desert Wells. That's that, that trailer park. What? I know where it is. Okay. You guys go over there, toss her place, see if you can't come up with something. There's a country and western bar over at the Dairy Ranch. Krychek and I are going to go over there and talk to a couple of Buffalo Bob's pals. Uh, boss, I, I really need to tell you this one thing. Uh, the next time you go to pinch one of these dangerous felons, take some backup. It prevents just this sort of thing. That's funny, Grossman. Very funny. Lieutenant Terrell. I'm straight. This is Pogue, Arizona State Police. We just got into town. We're supposed to pick up Jerry Travis. <laughs> as soon as I find him, he's yours. I thought you had him. He got away, all right? Temporarily. We'll give you a hand. No, thanks. This punk is mine. Seen this guy? I wouldn't give the time of day to someone who wears funny little suits and hats. <laughs> Nobody 
people! Where's Travers? Never heard of him. Where is he? Where is he? He's Smith. Smith who? Homer Smith. Friend of Travers. Keep talking. Keep talking. Owns a garage on Hot Palm. It's a funny little hat. I've been trying to reach you. Where the hell have you been? Well, does it sound like I've been caught? Is this... Well, don't believe everything you hear. I'm at Homer's. Hey, anybody pick up my gear? Look, I need cash. And I know things are tight. Yeah, that's a good place to meet. Bye. Thanks for letting me steal my stuff here. No problem. Well, I changed the oil, gave you the tune, you give me an hour. I can repaint it. No, I haven't gotten now, but thanks. You've been a true blue citizen to me, Homer. You can look at this another way. How's that? I could be helping you kill yourself. Well, you think I want to die in my sleep? If you got to go, you might as well be mobile. Take this. Oh, I appreciate it, but Come on. I'm covered. I'm covered. Thank you. Wait a minute. Now you're covered. Correct me if I'm wrong, but ain't I looking at a parole violation? You gonna tell on me? <laughs> this little two-incher is real nice, huh? Lightweight, floating firing pin. You can walk around all day. You never know you got it. Come on, take it. Take it. I appreciate you sticking up for my constitutional rights to bear arms. You've <laughs> been a good friend to me, Homer. Real good friend. So when this guy writes about a Coney Island of the mind... Well, what he's really talking about is the carnival of life. Uh, the satisfactions, the attractions, the games of chance, if you will. How'd you know that? Hey, Nate, you guys come up with anything? <laughs> yeah, you got a cellmate in Phoenix who owns a garage in Yucca Flats. All right, why don't you go hook up with Clemens? Danny and I will go out and check on that lead. Those coppers from Arizona still hanging around? Ah, they split, but who knows where? That's very smart. Anything else you'd like me to interpret for you? Why don't you just read to me while you're driving? <laughs> On the license plate in the garage, Travers must have switched them. You stay here, call Clemens in the corner. I want everybody on the street looking for that yellow Plymouth. Only this time, tell them that the driver's wanted for murder.
Want to order, Matt? Hey, Bobby, you scared the daylights out of me. You're kind of jumpy tonight, aren't you? Well, just a little bit. How about a cup of coffee? That'd be great. got away from me. He's driving a green Chevy, Nevada plates H56420. Call the state police tell them to set up roadblocks. He took a hostage. Damn it. Why'd he do that? Because he's a nutcase. That's why he did it. But that was Rita, his girlfriend. Great. <laughs> police officer, I'm taking hey. your car. want me anyway. Is that what you think? You just use me to get out of trouble. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble comes and finds me. And I don't know why. Look, if you want to go, darling, I don't want you to. I wouldn't blame you, but go right ahead. I want you to stay. Everything Everything is going to be okay, right? Everything's going to be okay. Okay, 
Feed them, boys. Name's Straight, Arizona State Police. We'd like to get back. Road's closed. We're not authorized to let you through. We're in hot pursuit of a wanted felon. Like he says, we can't let you through. That Arizona badge yours don't cut it in Nevada. Am I going to have to call my people in Phoenix? Call whoever you have to. We got our orders. Who does he think he is? Yeah, Walter. What's up? Where are you calling from? I don't know. I'm lost. I lost Travers. Travers? Well, what do you think? Well, why don't you guys come and get me? Mike, this is Danny. Where exactly are you? I'm right here. Where's here? Hey, look. What do I know? I'm in the desert. I'm lost. Do I look like Vasco da Gama to you? All I see is a bunch of cactus. What kind of cactus? Listen to me, you. I'm from Chicago. Here's what I know about nature. If it's flat and green, it's grass. If it's round and green, it's a bush. If it's tall and green, it's a tree. Just come and get me, will you, please? You might check the carburetor. Do you want to do it? Yeah, maybe I should. In any case, maybe we're not going to make Mexico. What's up? We found two Nevada State Troopers dead. Out by the roadblock, by the county road. Wait a minute. What was that last transmission? I can't read you. Say it again. I said Travis is dangerous. Be careful. I can't hear you. Say it again. I'm losing you. Damn it. Again, maybe we are. I wouldn't count on it. The station's that way. Just suit yourself. What are you helping him for, Jerry? Do you want to stay out here with him, Rita? Yeah, rather than go where he's taking us. Hey, why not the both of you shut up? When you kill two policemen, you don't get treated to a day at Disneyland. What the hell are you talking about? Are you nuts? Drop the dumb act, all right? I know about the bodies of the state troopers. Wait a second. I don't know anything about no two dead cops. Yeah, right. He's right. telling you the truth, mister, but you're too dumb to see it. Well, yeah, well, why don't you tell that to those two troopers and your pal, Homer Smith? Homer? Oh, my God. Homer? Homer! Oh, no! No.
Ralph is over. What? Customers, you're the first one I've had since early this morning. Used to get them all the time until they put in that interstate. Hey, where is the interstate? Oh, down the highway there, about 50 miles. You got a phone? You buying gas? Full tank. Pay phone right inside there. Why do you keep it open? Makes the days seem longer. Operator, give me the state police, will you? His name is Sergeant Danny Krychek. Tell him that I'm on an old gas station on Highway 9. The name of the gas station is, uh, Jones's. Yeah, right. Now, tell him that I'll meet him where the interstate and the highway meet in a couple of hours. I'm driving a 1955 customized Chevy. It's got flames and stuff all over it. Nevada plate, X-ray 70382. You got that? Damn, <laughs> the interstate must have broke. I'll be right with you. We don't want any gas, Gramps. Then I can't give you no change for the phone. Get out of the car, Travis. Can I help you guys? Looks like you already did. Great work, Torillo. We'll take it from here. He's going to the Nevada State Police for murdering two state troopers. When they're through with him, you guys can have what's left. We got an extradition order, Torello. He's our prisoner. No, you're wrong. He's my prisoner. Then he's Nevada's prisoner, and then he's your prisoner. All right, Travers, who are those guys? 
I've never seen him before in my life. Hey, I didn't ask for an identification. Answer my question. Leave him alone. And it better be one that I like or I'm going to turn you over to those guys myself. Do you understand me? Ah! Go get some wood. Go get some wood! Listen to me. If you don't go get some wood and I don't stop this bleeding, the only thing that's going to be left to your friend here is a memory. Now go get some damn wood! That two still bothering you? Yeah, I don't understand it. The doctor said there'd be no pain. When are you guys shooting me? Yeah, right. Love to. Where'd you find this Dr. Cyclops? Danny's girlfriend, Ann, recommended her. Brilliant, huh? Be right back. Anything? Nothing since he called. Hasn't heard a thing. I'm worried. I don't worry, your tooth will be all right. How about Mike, wise guy? He's an hour and five minutes late. Did he be here? He'll be here. Boys, need some help? Sure do, partner. Get out of the truck. <laughs> anyway, we left the bar and you went to her place. And uh, her husband bursts in. Hell, I didn't even know she was married. That was crazy. He tried to cave my skull in. Thursday rifle right fooling around. Do you see a ring on my finger? Who'd be crazy enough to marry a no good drunken womanizer like you anyway? You would if I gave you a choice. Not if I was crazy or drunk or both. Hey, just finish the story, all right? Anyway, I hit him a few times. And it turns out that he's this big boss with the rackets up in Phoenix. And, uh, had me prosecuted and uh, sent me to a farm, work farm place. You only had 30 days left. Why'd you bust out? Because I got the word. What word? And, um, he figured that a couple of guys were gonna do me in a, the paint shop. Maybe I'd get by that. But there'd be others. He'd buy others. Who is this clown? Name's Lezak. Tony Lezak. You're not as stupid as you look. Lezak's a psycho. Oh, my mommy and daddy didn't raise him to be a fool. I figured it was unhealthy to stick around. Still is. If Lezak's guys took out Homer and those state troopers, they're not lacking in dedication. We're getting out of here and we're getting back to that gas station. Something ain't right. Let's go. Where to? That gas station he called from. Come on. Joey. You guys want to follow us? Sorry about all this. Yeah, I know. How much further? I don't know, five, six miles, maybe. Um, why don't you uh, leave me? Uh, you'll make better time without me. Damn it, Jerry. I chased you around for three years. I'm not leaving you behind now. Sounds like the girl's in love.
One of them's been hit. Yeah. Let's go. Nice work. I got one round left. Boone's dead. Look, we gotta rush the house. Shut up! Travis and we'll leave. We don't care about you and the girl. Any way you cut it, he's dead. You can either give him up and let us kill him, or we can kill all three of you. Is that the way you want it? Spread out. know as well as I do that these guys are cold-blooded killers and they're gonna keep on coming back until I'm dead. You want that? Even if you don't care, what about Rita? Cut the noble crap. These guys aren't gonna let anybody out of here alive. So if they want to get to you, they're gonna have to go through me first. Sit down. you want to end up like Boone, we ain't going in now. We're in no hurry. This isn't exactly how I expected to go out. In the company of a cop, one bullet. You can do a lot worse. He's bleeding again. There's a bathroom in there. Stay low, see if you can't find something to stop it. Stay low. That woman's driving me crazy. You think so, huh? You've ever been married? What happened? Didn't work out. You ever sorry? 
Sometimes it's the sorriest I've ever been. Mm. You read as a good woman, kid. Yeah, that she is. Cause maybe she hooked up with, with the wrong guy. And then again, maybe not. I couldn't find anything. So what are we gonna do? We can't just sit here. Hand me that radio. These guys won't come at us until it's dark. There's a way out of this. A long shot. But I need your help. I'll help. Good. Check inside, Joey. Listen, uh, Chevy came through here earlier. It had a kind of a 55 uh, customized job with flames on the side. The driver had a mustache. He was with a man and a woman. Who wants to know? Department of Justice. Now, I ain't looking for no trouble. No, no, here. no, no, no trouble, Pops. All we want is some information. Yeah. Well, about 10 o'clock, the. Well, with the mustache was asking directions on the highway. Then he went on in and he used the phone. Yeah? And that girl is real pretty. Kind of lonely out here, huh, Pops? Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Take it slow, old timer, huh? What are they doing in there? Trying to keep us out. They won't.
ask you guys to show up. Yo. Well, we were in the neighborhood and uh, saw your light on. Cavalry's supposed to come to the rescue. You know? well, we didn't figure you needed our help with four guys. Yeah, looks like he was right. <laughs> Here comes the cavalry. All right, you two, get in the truck and get out of here. Come on, go ahead. Go, will you? Too little. Just go. You know, the state troopers are coming to arrest this cowboy. Well, there he is. It'll take him a long time to identify that pile of junk. How's your tooth? <laughs>